If we have multicast traffic that's being routed and forwarded over to VLAN 20, is it possible that we still have some devices in VLAN 20 that don't want to be bothered with that at all? The answer is yes. And here's how we can solve that. Let's imagine we have this multicast group of 224.1.2.3 that's being pumped out from the server. So it's being delivered through the network down to this network segment. And then, so this client's happy. It's like, yeah, I got my multicast stream, great. And the Shores Path tree can be built if it's sparse mode or if we're using source specific multicast, we got a Shores Path tree to begin with. So he sees the traffic, but what about the other devices on that same network segment? We might have like 40 or 50 or 100 other devices on that same VLAN. Do they all want to receive that traffic? <laughs> the answer is probably not. Maybe there's a few of them, but certainly not all of them. So to help restrict the wasted bandwidth of forwarding that frame to all these other devices in that same VLAN, we can use a technique on a layer two switch. Let me check my video there. So on a layer two switch, we can use a technique called IGMP snooping. And here's effectively what IGMP snooping is all about. This router right here is issuing member reports periodically on this segment. Basically, it's IGMP messages saying, hey, who still wants this group? Or are there anybody who still wants this group on this segment? And the clients can respond back yes or no. The router in combination with the switch and looking at those snooping in or eavesdropping on those IGMP messages can identify, hey, the person off this port, they want that multicast traffic. And the switch can then forward that multicast traffic once it's on the segment to that specific host on that port. While maybe somebody on this port doesn't want that, they haven't requested that multicast stream, they don't want it. And the switch, because it's eavesdropping on that and communicating with the router, it can say, oh, I get it. There's the port right here with this PC. It doesn't want that multicast group traffic so it won't even forward it off of that port. So that's the concept of IGMP snooping on a catalyst switch is simply that once the multicast group traffic gets to that network segment, the switch can then take further steps to filter or not bother wasting a client's bandwidth by sending them a multicast group stream if they haven't requested it. And it does it by eavesdropping on IGMP traffic and they call it IGMP snooping in a catalyst environment. So I've had a great time in these videos about the basic concepts and ideas behind multicast and multicast routing, delivering content to many devices on a network without having to do unicast streams for each and every one of them. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe right here to get the latest information from CBT Nuggets. And if you're new to or considering a career in the world of IT, head on over to CBT Nuggets and sign up for a free trial.